And welcome back to episode number three of Grounded. I've been a busy boy. Look, I made a fence around the base and building has never been easier because I did get that tier two ax after we got the bombardier part from the egg sack in the last episode. So now I can chop down these things, which give you weed stems. There's a lot of them right next to my house. As you'll see here in a second as I chop this down. Timber. This one will only probably give me like four or five. Yeah, this was a bad one. But some of them will give you like 15. It's crazy the amount you can get from some of these plants, whatever these are. But I'm in the process of making something uh, kind of cosmetic, but it also has a purpose. But we need uh, two more weed stems, so let's get two more. Look at all the ones that this just knocked down. This is a husky weed, and it gives you the weed stems for your wood builds. And now with that tier two axe, we just... You know, so easy. So we a lot of upgrades for the base here in a second. But yeah, this wolf spider keeps coming a lot, a little too close to my base at nighttime. I mean, real close. So yeah, I've got to build a fence. But look, look at this thing. Let's set these down real quick. Uh, this is a garden patch. You can plant mushrooms so you have food at the house. Or you can plant one of these mushroom chunks. You can get these from chopping down a mushroom once you get the tier 2 axe. But we'll plant. No, don't plant it yet. We got to get some fertilizer in it. Hold on. I put some spoiled meat in there. I don't know if it's going to help with the growth or not, but uh, I think we're good. Plant. Okay. That's going to grow into a big mushroom. And then I can have... I can chop it down and get more mushroom chunks. And then the mushroom chunks, I learned that you put inside of a, uh, a grinder, which I don't have built yet. And you make a slurry with it and you can tame pets. Or the slurry could turn into mushroom bricks. And you could do like a castle build. So it's got multiple reasons to have these mushrooms growing somewhere close to your base. And I think it's going to look good once it grows nice and tall. It's like having a tree in our yard. Plus this thing, dew collector. So we can take out our canteen. Let's take dew right off this. So we don't have to look for water when we're out and about. And I think this thing will hold like four or five dew drops. It just, they just appear over time. So it's something worth checking on from time to time. Also, I don't know if this has always been a thing or just since the latest update, but there's a button you can hit to copy whatever you have already built, and then you can just make a duplicate like that, and then that way you don't have to go through the crafting menu and find what you're looking for. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm not going to finish the whole fence here, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that cool new feature. I think that's pretty helpful when you're building, and I'm just going to finish this one piece of fence. Anyways, I want to get the fence all the way uh, to the back of the house, to the edge of the water, because ants keep coming up here too. And eating food right off of my fire, not cool. So we'll get, we'll stop that from happening. Plus the wolf spider. No, no, no more of that. How many more do I need? Three, I think. Grab them. Let's put them on. Finished. Looks good. Looks good. All right, we've got an adventure today. We're going to go get that burgle chip, finally. So uh, I think I have everything I need. I'm bringing some extra torches. I'm bringing some food. I have some food. I've got... Uh, uh, bandages. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we'll be okay to do this. So let's go do it. It's all the way across the yard uh, where the bush is that I was getting the berries from in the last episode. There should be a playlist on the screen. If you've missed the first two episodes, go check those out. Thank you for the positive feedback in the videos. You guys seem to be real happy I'm back. So hey, I'm happy you're happy. We're all happy. Yeah, so we need to go all the way over there where the bird bath is. We're going to find a secret lab somewhere in that hedge. We'll have to climb through branches and do some parkouring pretty dangerous and don't think i forgot about you mr bombardier i'm coming back for you at some point make no mistake about it oh my god he's attacking hey before we go to the hedge one of the most important mutations you can have for your character is called coup de grass and this is super important uh it'll give you a chance to have critical hits when you're swinging your weapon um so let me show you where i'm at on the map okay, i'm exactly right here if this map makes any sense to you. There's the big fallen branch in the backyard. This is the flooded section of the backyard. There's that battle toad we discovered on the last episode. If you look right over here, there's a cluster of mushrooms right there. So right here is where you want to go to get this. I have no idea if we're going to be able to make it there because A, I don't have a torch and we're going to be swimming underwater. So it's going to be tough to see. And B, I don't know how long this tunnel is. I can't remember. So we might run out of air, but let's give it a try. Swim all the way down here. Pretty dark. Sorry about that. And let's just hope for the best that we don't drown. We're going to drown. We're probably going to drown. Don't drown. Please make it. Just make it. You can make it. I think we're going to make it. Made it. All that's in here is a four-leaf clover. You have discovered four-leaf clover. I 
it is. And that gives us the coup de grace, one out of two. So as you can see right here, critical hit chance. Now we can get it to phase two, but we have to go do something special, just like we just found this. There's something else on the map you have to do to get it to phase two. Once you get it to phase two, it's a 25% chance of a critical hit. I think we're at a 10 or 15% chance of critical hit right now. Uh, but there you go. That's all that's down here, really. It's pretty cool looking and a four leaf clover. Those are really hard to find. I should have said that I don't have a, an underwater torch. I have plenty of torches, just don't have one for underwater. So that's why we couldn't use it underwater. There's water, there's underwater torches. Uh, that'll be helpful when we go in the koi pond. Okay, we are here. We finally made it over to the uh, the hedge. And we need to get up, and you can kind of see it already, but right there is a little tiny research station. So we're going to head up here, and then the fun begins. Because we've got to traverse all the way through the bushes using the branches to get over to a part of the yard that you can't access any other way for the time being without climbing through these trees. So you want to have a dandelion tuft in case you fall off. Plus, you might want to set up a lean-to somewhere up here in case you die. You don't have to spawn all the way back at your house. And then come all the way back over here. But we got some lore there uh, on Burgle. Uh, we have one of the, these are unpowered right now. But eventually we'll be able to scan the yard for any resource and any bug we're looking for. And it'll show them on the map. But I can't get them powered yet. I don't really know how to get them powered. Uh, but we'll figure that out eventually. I see some raw science over here. So let's go over this way first. Always grabbing that raw science. And we need to get this burgle chip for a couple of reasons. One, it's part of the game. You got to get all the burgle chips. But two, we're going to get rewarded with 2,000 raw science. And there's something in the shop for 3,500. And once I get that 2,000, I'll definitely have enough money to get what's in the shop, which is going to be super, super important for us. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I hear spiderlings somewhere. Where are they? They'll knock you off the branch if you're not careful. So if you hear a spiderling, or might as well look for them and get rid of them. And we'll pick those guys up because they actually drop webs, the little guys, when you kill them. Get a web. Hey, juice break. Mind if I do. There is a milk molar on top of this juice box. Got to build up to get it. So you have to bring like grass up here with you. But yeah, you can almost see it. In fact, the box itself has... A tooth on it so that's kind of a clue that there's one above it i can't figure out how to get up there without building to it so we'll once i'm able to break milk molars we'll build up and get that one i know where quite a few are I'm on the map flying! zip line we can make zip lines ourselves at some point too so we'll have a lot easier ways to get around the map eventually for now we're stuck walking around i did activate coup de grasse so you know when i do the perfect parry uh, you'll see the sparks fly off the weapon. Well, same when you get a critical hit. When I'm swinging this thing, if you see sparks come flying off of it, I just got a critical hit. You'll notice from the health bar of the enemy, they just took a big chunk. So it's it's a great. The critical hits are really important in this game. So I'm glad we got that unlocked. Let's keep moving. Got a long ways to go. Look, I found a little lab up here. Go inside, see what's in it. Bad guys in here? Nah, I think we're good. We've got uh, some raw science. Oh, nice. So these granola bars will heal you as well as give you a little bit of food. That's a nice find. Anything else in here? More lore. About the outpost that we're going, that, that we're in. And then we're going to the main lab here in a second. Keep going. Let's see what's inside some of these web sacks. I do need to get some stink bug parts. Um, or, or we have to kill a stink bug. The only way I'm going to get the... Uh, level two hammer which is the hammer that we need for breaking those milk molars is to kill a stink bug not the easiest thing to do right now i don't think that web sack had anything in it unless it fell off let's see. break this one and grab what's in it that's something nat fuzz that's some nat fuzz boo check it out a giant frisbee and when you find like points of interest like this, it actually marks them on your map. You discovered the Flingman flying disc, and now that's marked on the map right here. now. Starting to see all these waypoints kind of pop up on the map. That's from everything I've discovered just walking around. Something glowing in the middle. I think that's one of those scabbies, which again just changed the HUD color. If you want to activate it, just go on your menu and do that. There's a lot of little spiders around here, and the reason being is this over here and let me tell you trust me when i say this you don't want to know what's in there okay 
Don't want to know what's in there. Some of you may already know what's in there. It's the brood mother. In-game stuff. All right, we'll wait for a little deeper in the series, but that is a boss fight. It's some really cool stuff for killing the brood mother, but we're, we're not doing it. Not today. Definitely not today, but we'll definitely do it before the series is over. Looks like we're going to another outpost over here, and it looks like some of the outposts fell down below, so it's worth checking under the bush as well. There's probably all kind of stuff under the bush. Ooh, a lot of little spiderlings in here. Remaster two out of three. Still want to see if we get any stink bug parts. Oh, we did. Nice. I think I need four stink bug parts, though, to make the new hammer. I think. You can always check that. Oh, yes. This one. Oh, my God. This is the jackpot right here. It's got a ladybug head, bombardier parts, stink bug parts, and a gas sack or something like that, which I haven't researched yet. So we'll see what the gas sack gives you. I can't remember. All right, let's try this branch. I'm a little lost, but I think I see the main lab way over there. There's something over there. So let's go this way. And maybe we should go up the mushrooms, or do we need to go around them? Let's uh, probably up the mushrooms. Yeah, that's the stone fence that keeps you from getting over to the main lab, which is why we have to climb the tree here, the uh, the bush. But you see, like, I know there's another way we can go because I'm pretty sure you could zip line into the base, and this doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in the base. Yeah, but it's fine. We can uh, dandelion tough down. We're over the fence now, so no problem. And we'll figure out how to get in the base from over here. Being chased by a spider, I fell out of the tree. Trying to figure out how to get in the lab. Okay, I'm fine. I'm up here. He can't get me, I don't think. There's like a door over here, but it's locked. So we can't get in that way. I'm trying to figure out how to get in here. I, I know I had to do some finagle. Yeah, that door's locked. So I think what I have to do is come up here and jump around this branch and get on top. Yeah, now we can get in. All right, we're in. Oh, good. Oh, a mega milk molar. Man, we got to start collecting these. Our lives are going to be so much easier when we do. Okay, take care of this guy first. Uh, I'm, not the same, I'm not the same guy you saw in the lab the first time. A lot stronger now. All right, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I saw it. See it? Over there. Big sheet of paper with some numbers on it. Let's go check it out. Terrifying. Watch the hole in the floor. All right, we got a piece of the password. I think there's four of those we need to collect because we're going to need to unlock a door in this facility to get to the burgled chip. So there's the first one. I kind of want to get back to where I was because it doesn't look like this is good at all. This doesn't look like a good situation. We can't zip line back. So I'm going to this. How hard can this be? This. And we just this branch again. And we're right back where we were. Perfect. All right. Let's keep exploring. All right. Looks like we've got an up. Looks like we've got a down. I want to stay on the same floor. Okay, we can't stay on the same floor because this door is stuck. It says it's stuck. You can see webs on the other side, so I'm assuming we'll get on the other side at some point and unstuck that door. But let's start with going up, I guess. Let's go up. See what's up here. Well, another tasty. Come on, robot. Let's go. Ow. Hey, hey, that barely did any damage at all. Your hits don't hurt me anymore, tasty. Oh. Not really anyway. Oh, that one might. Well, he just wired it up. All right, take it easy. Spicy. Spicy boys. All right, one down. Got another one joining the party. Ah, ah, ah. Also a spider. Get over here, you little monster. Stop it. So annoying, those little spiderlings. I'm not going to collect the spiderlings anymore. I've got plenty of web on me now, so I'm just going to ignore them. I should probably break, break open some more egg sacs, though. Maybe we get lucky and get some more stink bug parts. All right, what do we got? Uh, three ways to go. We want to stay on the same floor for now until we clear the whole floor. Let's go this way because I see some raw science. I also hear... Oh, hey, another tasty. Used to be stuck, though. Easy. When you get the three-hit combo on them, it's super easy to kill them. Uh, some berry chunks. All science. Looks like they're doing some experiments with the berries up here. What else we got? Oh, some free berry chunks. I guess I'll take that. 
Oh, you know what? This is the zip line you're supposed to take down to the first password that we already got. So yeah, that would take us to the room we already went to. So I think we need to go this way. Let's go this way. All right, so two options. Let's stay on the same floor for now. Then we'll go up when we're done. Hey, no, no, no. Both of these doors are stuck, so we can't go anywhere further. So the only place to go is up and up and up. A green door, that's good. Oh. By the power of Helion. Champion oh, these supplies. The I can't carry. I don't want to take these bigger things. Anything super helpful? That might be quartz. Take some quartz home with us. Why is the quartz in my hand? Oh. No. Um, oh, some silk rope. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll take that. All right. Good. I think we're good. All right, this zip line's kind of fun. We got to drop off of it into a little hatch that's open. You don't have to hit the hatch. You just got to hit the big platform the hatch is on. Ooh, I missed it. And we're falling all the way down. I'm on a web. I'm a web. And now I'm back at the beginning again because I broke the web. And here I am down here. Stop it, spider. That's all right. We'll catch up. And we'll, I'll be right back where we were a second ago. And jump now. Got it. All right. This is the hatch. Where does this actually go if I keep going? Just to a branch, a random branch over there. It looks like it might take you into another portion of the lab, though. Here, we could drop down in this hatch. Yeah. Hey. Another piece of the password we have got now. I could use my axe to fight while I have my... um torch in my hand unfortunately though the torch is about half durability and so is my ant club right now we also got another burgle tape so it'll probably uh give us some dialogue about the story here so that tape just explained that dr wendell made his first successful shrink on a set of dice that's cool i think i just unstuck this door here and we're back to where we were so we don't want to go this way go another way let's try this door where this takes us we need to chop this open. No doubt. Oh, I remember this room. All right, it's going to be a little dark, but I need my club here. Because if I'm not mistaken, it's like a half-size orb weaver in here. Not a full orb weaver, but not a baby one either. It's like a middle. Is he around somewhere? Maybe not. We have a research station right here. So let's do this uh, gas sack real quick. You can make gas arrows. That's cool. And a new smoothie. Ooh, this egg sack had uh, more stink bug parts. And another stink bug gas sack. Ooh, more stink bug parts. Nice, we might be able to make the uh, the tier two hammer when we get back without even having to kill a stink bug. Oh, another password. Uh -huh. I think there's one more we need to find. I think this is where he shrunk the dice at. Must be. It's like a shrink machine. Pretty sure this is the room we want to get into to find the burgle chip down there. Figure out how to get in there. I think we need to come out this way. Oh, there's some raw science down there. Oh, I see the last I see the last password piece. Alright, let's go get it. Oh, you know what? Okay, you almost got me, game. But I'm pretty sure that berry's in the way, and it probably would have knocked us off the zip line. So let's get rid of the berry. I just see a spider over there, a bigger spider. Yeah, I did. Kill him before we even zip line over there. Right, get him out of the way. Get him weak a little bit. Can't see him anymore though. All right, let's just zip line over there and hope for the best. Yeah! <laughs> Come on. Dealt with your kind before. Much bigger though. You ain't scaring nobody. I mean, you're kind of scary though. Not gonna lie. Kind of. Oh, he's dizzy. He was a dizzy boy. One, two. Ah, oh, I didn't get the third hit in. Orb Weaver Jr. Rest in peace. The dead. This is what we want. And it's all four. Should have the password. Where do we put the password in at? Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Over here. Another spot. Oh, there's a scabby over there. Gabby, I don't want to jump out here. That looks awfully dangerous. Let's go. Uh, man, I think we need to go back 
through the lab and come back around. Yeah, this is one of these doors that was shut from the other side, so let's get rid of the webs. Sure, we're right back on track to get where we need to go. Maybe, possibly, I'm not sure. You know what a smart person would have done? They would have made a lean-to in case they died over here. They didn't have to come all the way back over here uh, from their house. I'm going to put a lean-to out here somewhere. i got to find a little spot to put it on. There we go, right there. Foam, and then let's set our respawn point right here, okay? Now we're safe. We die. I don't have to worry about coming all the way back over here. We'll just spawn right there. I'm still trying to figure out how to get back to where we just were. Okay, this is where we ziplined over. Shot the berry out of the way. Um, and we can't go through the door here because it's blocked from the other side. So what I think we need to do, maybe hop out on this. And get in here somehow. Figure it out. Oh, there was another password piece. Wait, is there another password piece? No, I don't think so. I don't know what that is. That raw science is awfully tempting. It's a 500 one. Berries out of the way. I'm gonna jump for it. Nice. Then we just gotta get on this branch over here. Yeah, right? Oh, well, if you have a fear of heights, this might be a tough level for you. Here we go. We're in. Password is what? Well, we found all the parts for the password, so... Oh, some lore? Got it. And then it says mash keys. A power grid control. Log into the terminal. And we have access granted. So that's because we found the password pieces. If you don't find them, you can't get in there. So that's how you do that. Awesome. Then this door just became unlocked, which is great. And so did this one. I think this is the one we want to go in. It is. There's the Burgle chip. We'll bring this back to Burgle, and he'll have new items in his shop for us to, to uh, spend our raw science on. It's going to help us progress through the game. So grab that. And it looks like a rotten gas mask. So if you don't learn how to make the gas mask or other items, sometimes you could find them on the map in the form of a rotten version, which means they're not going to be as strong as the version you build yourself. But we can research this and get some raw science for it. And it'll also teach us how to make our own gas mask that isn't going to be rotten. We pull this. Oh, that's how you power it up. Remember those survey stations I was telling you that are all around the map? Yeah, those little things right there have radars on top of them that now work. We can scan the yard for resources and for bugs that we're looking for. Excellent. That's how you do it. You have to come do this to do that. Awesome. Oh, we figured that out today. That's cool. I'm just hoping I have enough dandelion tough, but we're just going to float down to the bottom here. Can't see the ground. Okay, we made it without killing ourselves. And because we powered up the lab, this door opens. And let me show you where this takes you. All the way out here by the bird bath. So we never have to go through the, uh, the bush again to get up to that lab if we don't want to. We can just come in here because this was locked previously. But the power's on now. Takes you right up there. Let's go talk to Burgle about this chip we just found. Did I tell you what's going to happen if you mess with me again? Huh, Mosquito? Payback time. i would be running for my life. Now, today, got good armor on, got good club. We're going to kill our first mosquito. Four. Club isn't very strong right now, but we can make it strong soon. Down here. Could use the bow and arrow, but these, this bow sucks. The sprig bow is not very good. There are better bows. We are going to get our hands on one of them soon. Come on, mosquito. First mosquito kill. We barely took any damage because of the ladybug armor. We got a mosquito beak and a mosquito blood sack. The mosquito beak we can turn into a needle sword. So if you want a one-handed sword weapon, um, you can stab, 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 stab real fast with it without using a lot of stamina. Uh, that's your weapon then. Uh, but also, the blood sack can make these heal. They're called. I think they're called heal bosses. Throw them on the ground and it gives you splash health. So if you're playing co-op, you throw it down, you and your buddy can get healed up from it. It's just a light firefly. I want to kill one of these two up here. 
They only come out at night. Oh. Do a lot of damage or any? They spray with their bioluminescence, which I think just drains your stamina all the way down. Um, so it makes it hard to fight them, but I don't actually think they do much damage, if any at all. I don't know. Not too worried about them. Oh god, his friend got me. Yeah, it does a little damage. And now I'm just super slow. I still have stamina, though. I'm just slow. Okay, would y'all knock it off? Nice. Alright, we got some iridescent scale and some bioluminescent goop. Got a heal, actually. You, hit a, you get hit enough times, it actually does hurt. Come on. One more hit should do it. Yeah. Ah, got it. Alright, so we got a couple of those. We got some bioluminescent goop and some iridescent scales. Those are definitely worth hunting uh, if you come across them. You'll see why shortly. We're going to go to Burgle, and we got a lot of things to research, so let's go check it out. Uh, let's do our researching first and then go talk to Burgle and give him the Burgle chip. But let's see what we've got. We got this, uh, what is this? Bioluminescent bio goop. Fire. It'll give us a firefly hanging lantern. So a cool thing to put in your house. So it's nice and glowy in there. It's a stuffed firefly and firefly head mount. Interesting, actually. I was expecting we would learn the headlamp, uh, which lets you have a hat on with a flashlight on it. And then you could use two-handed weapons and see what you're doing at night. I don't know what gives us that. Well, I'll have to figure it out. Also, I just unlocked tier... Oh, okay. Here it is. We already learned it. Check it out. There's the... Um, that's the helmet I was just describing to you. Unlocked level five. This is the brain power again. So, you know, you just keep getting... Uh, you just keep analyzing stuff. You'll get brain power and you'll unlock some of these tiers. We also got some fin flops, an underwater bubble helmet, an underwater lantern... Uh, but I did just learn the heal bossa. Uh, I'm sorry, what is this thing? This is a brat bomb. A brat bomb? I don't know. Some sort of bomb. We can throw bombs at things now. That's cool. Great. Fantastic. Yes, I would like to trade raw science if with you. you. Extra... Okay, so when we first met Burgle, we found a chip right next to him. And when we put the chip in them, the smithing station was one of the things, but I didn't have enough 2,500 raw science, but I have 6,400 now. So we're going to buy the smithing station, which is going to allow us to craft a smithing station to upgrade our weapons and our tools. Fantastic. So here's the new things that we just got from the burgle chip that we got from the jungle temple. Uh, sign set crow, so you can hang up some pictures in your house, whatever. Daredevil, that's a mutation that you can unlock. That will reduce fall damage. There's a cookbook so you can make some meals which give you some temporary buffs to your character. These are actually pretty helpful. Uh, I will buy them when I have extra raw science. I'm not going to use it on that now. Uh, ladder. Good to know. Good to have actually. Because we're going to add a second story to our house. And I plan on using a ladder for it. Not stairs. And then zip lines. I'm going to go ahead and buy this now. This will be a great way to get around the map. Take some work to set up the zip lines, but once you get them, man, your life is so much easier. So we'll buy that. Home sweet home. Look, that mushroom grew a lot while we were gone. Uh, and if it keeps growing, like I said, it'll look kind of like a tree in the yard. That'll be great. Also made this. It's a trail marker, and you can turn it on and off your waypoints. That way you can see where your house is, no matter where you're on the map and how far you are away from it. Also uh, found one for the red anthill, made one for the red anthill all the way across the yard. So we have a couple of markers on the map to help us navigate a little easier. Okay, time to craft the smithing station. I've got everything we need. Put it all on there. There we go. There it is. This is going to be great. This is going to be so good. And now our life is about to get so much better. So my red ant club's about to break. Instead of repairing it and using a bunch of parts to do that, if I upgrade it, it'll automatically repair it. But now I can upgrade this and make it stronger and more durable. So let's select it. And then it says if we want to go to uh, level one tough, uh, it will take it to a 5% more damage and 5% more durability at the cost of two quartz shards. So upgrade it. And then the next upgrade, it goes to 10 and 10 for four shards. Upgrade it. Then eight shards for 15%. Then upgrade it to 16 shards. And that's all I have right now. I'm a little short. It needs 32. But we got it up to a level five tough, which now it does 25% more damage than it was doing. And it's 25% more durable. It's going to take less. Uh, it's going to take longer to break it. Now, you can do this to your tools as well. 
and your bow, but I'm going to hold off on the bow because I'm pretty sure we can make a better bow real soon. Oh yeah, we can make the insect hammer, the uh, the level, the tier two insect hammer, because we did get those stink bug parts out of those egg sacs. Have some berry leather, and we got a boiling gland, which we also found in one of the egg sacs. So this that was perfect crafting. Here's the new insect hammer. Looks kind of gooey, gross. But anyways, we could go in here and get this milk molar finally. And I know where a few of these are located at around, around the yard. So we'll get a couple, and I'll show you what they do. Yeah, there you go. That's what we're looking for. Milk molar found. And this one's being guarded by spiders, but I'm still going to get it. Go, go, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I want to deal with the spiders right now. Like three of them. All right, we got it. Another one's across the, uh, something in the water. Ignore that. This one's across the, the pond a little bit. The koi pond. Now, we are going to do, I think, the koi pond in an upcoming episode soon. Uh, maybe not the next one, but maybe also the next one. We'll see. Smack it. I'm out of stamina, unfortunately. Got it. Got it. Now, obviously, these things are hidden all over the yard, and we'll find them throughout our playthrough, but I just wanted to get a handful. I think I've got three of the regulars and one of the megas and show you what they do now. So let's go to Burgle and Burgle. Howdy, it's good to see you again. Pump me up with some milk molars. Here we go. As you can see, uh, we can increase our max health, our max stamina. Uh, we can get thirsty less, less often. Hungry less often, and we can get more mutations that we can activate at once. Right now, we can only activate two mutations at a time, but for three milk molars, I can now activate three at a time. But what do we really want to do? This is a tough choice because I always complain about stamina. We can get a little buff to our stamina, but I'd rather have three mutations going at once if I'm completely honest. So that's what I'm going to do. I think this is a good choice it's too late can't be undone now the mega milk molars have their own tab and this is how you can increase your backpack space basically by making stacks of things uh larger so right now i think i have stacks of uh, for example your consumable stacks are at a five right now and I can stack them to eight if I spin this. Uh, your resource stack, which is mainly what we're grabbing right now, resources. So we probably want to take this to a 10 to a 13. There's also one for your arrows. You can hold 23 instead of 20. And obviously, these just keep going up and up at the cost of more milk molars. I think I'm going to do the max resource stack size. So essentially, by having uh, bigger stacks of things in your backpack, instead of having two stacks of 10, you'll have one stack of 20, which will free up a slot in your backpack. So this is basically getting a bigger backpack in a roundabout way. It makes sense. I think it's a clever way to do it and you have to grind to get it. All right, so the house is looking good. We got the burgle chip today. So that's one down. There's a total of 10 of them on the map. And if you look all the way over there, that was the latest update. See this shed back here? It's now got all kind of new stuff. There's a wood pile back there with the termites. Crazy, crazy new insects, like a black ox beetle that's huge and will wreck you. So much to do over there, but that's not what we're doing anytime soon because that is like considered a tier three area of the yard. You've got to have all the best stuff or you're going to get wrecked. What I think we will do in the next episode is go visit the Red Ant Hill and go for a little dive down below and see what they're hiding down in their hill. See what we can retrieve from down there. Or we can let Burgle decide what our next mission is. And he'll just give us one to do. And we'll do that one. But we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.